Hello developers, welcome to a new video. So in this video, we are going to see how we can build an authentication system using Flutter and Riverport state provider notifier. So uh, without any delay, uh, let's get started. Before starting, make sure you have a, a basic understanding of how Riverport works and uh, how we can, uh, what are the kind of uh, providers available in Riverport, uh, etc. Just read the document documentation if you don't have any idea or watch any tutorials. There are uh, no, uh, numerous amount of tutorials avail available in YouTube itself. So uh, let's get started and if you are new to this channel make sure to subscribe and press the bell icon for uh, getting notification when I post similar contents like this. So uh, I have already created a project here and I have created a simple UI with two text fields and one elevated button and in this tutorial for the sake of the simplicity I'm just going to do uh, the login part and I'm not going to use any uh, backend services like Firebase or any API. I'm just going to emulate it using a future door delayed function. So let's go to a project structure. Before that, uh, inside our pubspec.yaml, make sure to add Flutter reward port from our pub.dev. You can just copy this and paste it in your Flutter reward port. So, I mean, in your uh, uh, pubspec.yaml under dependencies and save it before you starting with starting the project. And yeah, uh, that's it. And inside your main, make sure to wrap your my app. I mean, inside the main, you can wrap this my app inside provider scope which is coming from flutter riverboard package so that's it now we can look at our project structure so we have notifiers services and views inside views we have one login view which i already uh, told you this is the login view and the home view uh, which is a simple uh, text and a app bar there is nothing much here and inside the services we have all the services and inside the notifier we have all the notifier we are using this services folder to store the logic of the login and inside the notifiers we will do the state management so inside auth services uh, let's start with auth services uh, so first of all let's uh, import our flutter river port here after that we i, am, I have created a simple login function uh, which emulate uh, the a login functionality uh, using future dot delayed is there is a is logged in boolean value it is it is false and after this after this function is called it will become true so we can emulate a lo our login works here so that's pretty much it and it is a future function uh, you can add your code here i mean if you are using firebase you can add the code to create or uh, login uh, the user uh, into the account here I, for the sake of, sake of the simplicity of the video, I am just uh, doing it like this. Okay, uh, that's pretty much it in auth services. And also don't forget to add the provider. We need to use this as a provider. Then only we can pass this auth services into our notifier. You can read more about this in the official documentation. Inside provider, it is typically used for exposing a value to other providers. Okay okay uh, that's pretty much it you can see it is the most basic of all providers it create a value and that's about it and we have done that and inside all the notifier we can use it so i have created a all the notifier class here first of all let's import all the prop uh, all the packages we need we need material flutter river port all the services that we re created just now and we need the home view because we need to do our navigation part here and inside the notifier, uh, before doing anything, just extend it with the state notifier, and it will be of state. I mean, it will be of type bold because uh, we are not going to use any models here. We are just going to show a circular progress indicator uh, when the user clicks the login. So a bool, uh, it will be enough. Boolean will be enough. So now let's create a constructor. Oh, sorry. Let's create a constructor. And it will take our auth services here. So we can pass our auth services to this provider, state notifier. And the initial value of this uh, initial state will be false. Uh, and after we click the login function, it will be true. Okay, now we can write the login function here. Inside the login, we will take email, password, and the build context. And we will try, inside the try catch block, we will set the state to true when someone calls this login function. And after that, we will uh, call the login function from our auth services here. And after it is done, I'm after it, it returns is logged in true, it will navigate you to the home view. 
so we can see how things works after that we will set the state to false again and if there is an error we will set the state to equal to false so uh, in your case you can uh, use your real working code here i mean your firebase or api calls whatever it is you can use it here and you can use catch to uh, do your uh, error handling and all i mean the try catch block so uh, that's here now we can create the notifier provider here this is how we create state notifier provider now uh, if you don't know what this is let's go to our documentation inside state notifier provider and you can see if we come down here uh, we are using state notifier provider to allow the ui to interact with our to do notifier class in our case it's our auth notifier so it's it allow uh, ui to interact with our class i mean if there is a change say change happened here we, we will know uh, and the ui will interact with ui can respond to it that's pretty much it now we can go to our login view inside our login view it's it's a pretty pretty simple uh, view there is nothing complex here just two text fields and an elevated button and there is two con text editing controllers here email controller and password controller first of all let's import flutter river pod and auth notifier here after that we are going to use consumer builder to update our ui and call the function so uh, we are not going to uh, entirely update our entire ui when calling that function instead of that we are just going to update this part this part where the elevated button is here so let's wrap our elevated button inside a consumer and we will cre we create a is loading variable and we will watch the state of this auth notifier provider which means our this state of this state notifier which is a which is of a boolean value and after that we will use this variable to look at the look uh, look it i mean when to update our ui if it's true we will show a circular progress indicator else we will show this button and inside the on pressed we will call this function our login function here and it will pass the data email uh, email password and the context here as you can see uh, to listen to ui changes in the state we will use watch and to uh, read once i mean to read a uh, functions uh, to call a function like this we will use ref.read uh, if you are a beginner make sure to uh, watch some videos or um, read the complete documentation before watching this video because this video is not beginner friendly so uh, that's pretty much it i think our code is uh, good to go and now let's we can let's try this code make sure to save all of the files uh, mine is saved everything is saved now let's try it out inside just to give something i haven't done any form validation so it's okay to just leave it if you want if i want but i am just giving it for the sake of this tutorial now let's try logging in as you can see it's showing a circular progress circular progress indicator after three seconds it navigated toward the home screen our old notifier is completely completely immutable and we have achieved our authentication system i mean the login system you can add more function to it like sign up uh, forgot password and everything inside your old notifier and you can make it you can make it and you can make changes according to your needs so uh, that's pretty much it so if you like this video make sure to uh, subscribe my channel before i will post more contents like this and like the video so uh, if you have any doubts uh, regarding this video or if you want me to build a more uh, complex video i mean if you want me to build a complete uh, authentication system using firebase make sure to comment it in the comment section so uh, that's it guys see you in the next video bye bye